this is one of the dangers of being out in the wilderness. Pan over here, RW. Yeah, I think it's water moccasin. The, uh, we're practicing with a uh, magnesium fire starter, teaching my son some, and my stepson some wilderness survival skills. And I walked, I've been walking back and forth right here to get some of this grass. Some the, at the bottom of this grass is some dried stuff that I was collecting and bringing over there to the sand for the, uh, to build the fire with. My son came over here to use the restroom and walked right by, right, right back. This whole time, I've been walking, yeah, it's a, uh, I think it's a water moccasin, but I'm not going to find out. I've been walking within three to four feet of that snake this whole time. And I uh, never even realized it. It's one of the dangers of uh, being out in the wilderness, being out in the woods. Whenever you see a snake like that, you sure don't want to handle it. You don't want to touch it. You don't want to play with it. It's not a pet. It's not like a snake you see in the pet store. Just leave it alone. Even those are wild. Do what now? I said even those in the store are wild. Yeah. yeah. Leave it alone. Don't touch it. And what I want you all to do is to identify what type of snake that is. And if you're bitten, let's say if I was out here gathering this grass and stepped on it and it bit me, what would you do in the case of a snake bite? Now we are probably about a mile from the truck. It would probably take us about 45 minutes or so because we have to go over a hill or around a hill to get back to the truck. So if you were bit by that snake, what would you do as a first aid? Or what would be one of the first things that you would do? Alright guys, what kind of snake is that? And what's the first aid treatment for, for its bite? Staying away from it. Yeah, we're keeping our distance. Yeah. It's looking for a hole to go into.